Hi again. So, it's a strange uh, fact, but when you make a drawing by itself, it can be good, bad, or indifferent. But when you make a whole gang of drawings on a page, even if they are indifferent or bad, that group of drawings together, that whole chorus of drawings, looks really cool. So lots of little, not very good drawings add up to one kind of pretty cool looking page. And so that's a, a kind of a fun thing to do, particularly when we're starting out and we're a little bit nervous about how good any one of our drawings is, to kind of take the pressure off them by doing a whole bunch together. And that whole bunch together will su support each other and look pretty cool. Another thing about doing a whole bunch of drawings on a page is you know, you may not have the time, or you may fear you don't have the time to take over this whole page and to do it all. But if you break it down into little incremental bits of work and you do one drawing, you know, before you're eating breakfast and then another drawing while you're actually eating your breakfast and then another drawing, you know, uh, I don't know, 10 minutes later after you've washed up the dishes and then another little drawing you know, while you're, I don't know, getting ready to uh, actually get on the subway or the bus. You know, if you just carry your workbook with you and do one little drawing per square, you'll find that hmm, the whole page fills up fairly easily and it all looks pretty great together. So even though I know we haven't actually specifically talked about actually how to do a drawing, I think you'll find that just Taking on a little tiny square like this at a time will break the ice and will get things moving. So that's what I'm going to do today. And I'm going to draw just little things around my house. Um, you know, you can also draw things from your imagination. In the book, I even suggest you could start by just drawing a stick figure. Um, but I'm going to draw little kind of mini still lifes around my house. And I'm going to do them really quickly. I'm going to spend a minute maybe on any given one of them. And we're going to see how the whole page adds up and you know becomes this sort of epic orchestral piece through the combination of little tiny ones. Let's give it a try. Yeah, I'm going to start with this blue desk lamp and you know I'm drawing quickly as I said, I'm drawing little bits of it. It's really basically made up of some pretty simple shapes. So it shouldn't take too much effort and I'm really again not concerned with doing a perfect drawing as you can see I'm fixing lines as I go and I'm kind of going over the edges of the frame it's okay these frames are kind of wonky but that's sort of by design to make you feel relaxed and not forced into some f perfectionism and I think that looks fairly decent but of course it's a lamp so let's just give it some sense of dark and light and I'm just gonna just draw in a little background and a beam of light to make it feel a bit more kind of designed within that square this is my approach don't feel compelled to do the same kind of thing yourself it's up to you whatever you whatever you feel inspired to do let's take this bowl of apples next. I'm going to start by just drawing the outline of the bowl, looking down on it. And now the three apples, starting with just the outline. And I'm drawing the outline of all three of them kind of as a cluster. And the little uh, stem in the middle. sort of ignoring color and shading. I'm just trying to make a pleasant little sketch. So it's a black ball, so let's just color in that blackness again. Sort of kind of matches a bit with the background of the desk lamp that I just did. And there, that's, that's basically it. Pretty good. I like that. Now let's move to the top of the page and um, tackle this, this 
the hand, sort of hand pump soap dispenser that's on by my sink. Start by drawing a little pump at the top where it connects to the body of the bottle. And now just looking at the shape of that edge and um, drawing the outline of it. Again, it's this frame isn't really quite square, and uh, so I'm extending it beyond the frame. That's cool. Drawing the inside little tube that goes down in the back of the label. I'm trying to pay attention to all those things. I'm not going to really get into drawing the label. I just did a little sketch to indicate that there's a design there. And now I'm going to draw its environment quickly. Um, it's got this little sort of part of the sink, and then there's tiles behind it. So I'm just going to draw in the white tiles, and I'm just going to keep them white. And um, there you go. That's it. Soap dispenser and tiles. Hang that in a museum. All right. Now let's move on to a fairly simple thing, which is this towel that's hanging on my dishwasher handle. There's the handle. That's the edge of the dishwasher. Here's the towel itself. It's basically a rectangle. And uh, it sticks out a little bit above that handle and drapes down a little bit behind it. Now let me draw the back part of that railing, the bar. And now let's have some fun and draw the pattern, the little plaid brown and white pattern of the towel. Not all the lines are exactly the same, so I'm making them slightly different thicknesses. And just doing the horizontal here. Put in a little tiny bit of shadow just to make it look dimensional, but you know, I can't help myself. I'm making these drawings a little bit too complex beyond what I told you, but you know, do as I say, not as I do. That's rule one of being a teacher and a parent and a dictator. Anyway, let's draw a pepper. I'm just going to draw the outside of this pepper. It's got a kind of a funky shape. Funky and lumpy. And now I'm looking down on it, so I'm just going to draw that stem on the top. Um, draw the little segments that lead up to it. And, you know, it's starting to look pepper-like. Peprian. Pep Peprikash. Anyway, so now it's throwing a little bit of a shadow because it's dimensional. And, you know what, I'm going to draw the, the cutting board that it's on, just to fill in the frame. Because I don't want to just draw an object. And again, this is my decision. I don't want to just draw an object sitting in the middle of a square. I'm going to try and draw a snapshot, like a little Instagram picture of the scenes around my house. So I'm going to draw this, um, the kind of little panels that make up the cutting board that it's sitting on. Just a couple of minor corrections. Bits I'm filling in and there you go. Pepper. All right, now what do we have? I think I'm going to draw shoe. It's a green boat shoe, just the, the toe of it. Um, draw the outline, and here's the, the tongue. There's the bit that my foot goes into back there. And um, now the this kind of rawhide lace that it has, sort of sketching in the knot, the way that the lace goes up and uh, there's these little knots here at the end. Now I'm adjusting that front. I'm cheating a little tiny bit, but I don't think you really notice it. You see, I'm correcting that length because the shoe is a bit too stumpy. But the fact is that the shoe has all this kind of rows of you know leather and stitching at the front. So adding another little line doesn't make a difference. Now I'm just going to add that stitching to clarify what this is. And um, Again, in the interest of creating an environment, I'm going to draw in the floor, the parquet tiles of the floor that are underneath it. And um, 
I'm going to indicate that one tile goes one way and the other goes the other way so that you get that sense of kind of weaving that you get in parquet tile. So, you know, I'm a little filled with regret as I do this because I'm worried that you're thinking, oh no, he's doing all kinds of sophisticated drawing things. Again, I'm just kind of doing it the way I would fill in my workbook. I really want you to do it the way you would. And if you feel like this is too sophisticated, these drawings are too complicated, then don't worry about it. Just, again, draw your own thing. I mean, look, if you wanted to draw an imaginary animal in each one, you could. If you wanted to draw um, uh, each one of your fingernails in each square, you can do that. If you want to just, um, you know, just doodle from your imagination and doodle, that's fine, too. So now I'm going to draw my, um, my glasses that are lying on the table. And I'm drawing them from the point of view that I see them, so I can sort of see through the lens a little bit, and I can see the stem behind it. Um, they look a little goggly here, but uh, you can tell what they are. And, you know, that's more or less it. Um, they're sort of sitting on a table, but I'll just leave that the way it is. And finally, um, I'm going to draw this, this pendant light that we have in the kitchen, which has one of those, um, it's kind of a bare bulb, but it's what's called an Edison bulb, which is a fairly cool sort of filament that it has in it that's sort of twisty. But first I'm drawing the, the thing that holds the bulb, the, the fixture itself. And now I'm carefully drawing the shape of the outside of that bulb. It's uh, not quite a circle. It's a little rounder than a normal light bulb might look. And here's the filament inside, which is sort of this weird tangle of wires. And uh, there's the cord that goes up to the ceiling. And uh, let's see. Yeah, it's a light bulb. So let's conclude this little design with another light bulb that's casting light. So kind of come full circle from that desk lamp all the way around to this uh, light bulb here. And I've given it a bit of a vignetted effect. So there you go. It's a whole page. And as you see, a bunch of meh drawings individually, but together pretty cool. That was fun. It took me, I think, nine minutes to do those uh, two, four, six, eight drawings. So minute, minute and a half per. You might say to yourself, well, you've been doing this forever. Of course, you can draw them in nine minutes. But honestly, spend a minute, spend two minutes. Say to yourself, I'm spending two minutes doing this drawing, not a second more. Let's see where I get. All right? So then you too will have spent 16 minutes filling this page. But, but I think you'll see my point again. None of these drawings by itself is really that spectacular, but kind of together, they're nice, and they give a little tour of, you know, what's going on around me, and um, I don't know, I like, I like this look of like little postage stamps almost, postage stamp pictures, and that's what I'll call it, I'm going to patent that, postage stamp pictures. Sorry, that's the, uh, the ad man in me speaking, but have a go at it, give it a try. And uh, it'll also be interesting to look back on, honestly, because as we work through this book, you're going to see your skills improving, your confidence growing, and it'll be nice to look back and go, you know what, this is how far I've come, this is where I started, and, you know, maybe I've progressed, or maybe I wasn't actually that bad to start with. We'll see. Give it a try. See you later. Bye.